So in this video, now we're going to learn that GitHub and how we can use that GitHub and sync with the local system or we can clone any other one GitHub to our local system. And then how to create different branch and what their need and the other things. So now first thing, we need to create one account on GitHub. So if we uh, search for GitHub login, then you can click on login page and you can sign up. Since I have already created, so once we will create that, you click on this icon, then you will see that to create new repository. So now we can click it here and we need to pass that name. So I will give that name as test and I will add one readme file and by default, my branch name will be developed. So I'm creating it. So once it created, we can see that here, it's uh, one file is got created. And now, so to copy this one, we need to click on code, HTTPS, and then we need to copy this link. Once we'll copy that link, now we need to go to that folder where I wanted to create. So inside this test, I wanted to create, so I will select this one and I will put CMD, then, command prompt is open. So now I need to put that command as git clone. Okay. And in double bracket this one. So once you will do this successfully clone, then you can see that one new folder is created and whatever file is there, it's got added. So after this, First thing what, to do anything, we need to go inside that folder. So I will put that CD and take it. Okay. So I came inside this folder now. So if I put what the branch is there, so we can see that we have with a star mark and a block. So star mark, I will explain what that states now. So it's basically used it's indicating that you are currently in this branch. So right now we have only one. So we're not able to see any difference, but we will now going to create one new branch and I will explain why new branch is needed. So suppose I will go and create new branch as git branch and new branch. I will put new B, so new branch, once I will do that, and now if I go and check that branch, so now we have two branch, but right now still we are in developed branch. We not went to new branch. So once we created that new branch, now how we can move to new branch. So to go to new branch, we have one command called git checkout branch name, okay. So once I had done that, we can see that switch to branch B. So now if I go and run that, we can see now it's become that new B, that new branch with a stick mark that we are currently in this branch. So suppose now in this branch, I will refresh it now and we I am going to create one new file. Suppose I will put that name as test. Okay. And inside this, I will add some value, save it and close it. Okay. So now I will use that command. Hit add test.txt. All this command, whatever right now I'm going to use in git, add how to add, how to commit, all those things I already explained in previous video. I also explained how to create that file at, uh, with command prompt only in place of going there. So now I added that. So now what I will do, I will commit that. So I did that commit. So it's showing that one file got added. Okay. So now we can see that two files is displaying here and right now we are in new branch. So I will go back to 
ओल्ड ब्रांड और else we can see like this one i am switching it back to main branch okay so now i switch back to develop so you can see that here that only one file is now displaying so if i go back i can try to switch okay so you can see automatically this file getting refreshed and whatever new file we added is there in new branch but if i go back okay if i go to first branch where i not did any changes so now it's removing that okay so now we are in which branch we can check that okay so now we are in develop branch so other way we can how we can check it out so now there is one more command git diff so git diff that two branch name we need to pass once we'll pass that we can see that what all difference are there so here i added one new file okay so it displaying that new file got added and what all those values for this one okay so now we have added this and now we see that there is difference but that file is not there in our develop branch so now we tested everything and we find it out it's working fine then what we can do we can merge that branch to our develop branch so to merge it what we can put we can put that git merge new so now already we are in develop and now we going to merge it with this branch okay so you can see here now one file got added and we can see here also that plus one that one changes got added into this one okay so this one got added okay so now if i go ahead and try to refresh this one okay we see here till now no file is there it's but if we go in our local system we can see that one file is there that got added so now to move this file to our github what we need to do now we can put that git push okay okay so now it's done we can see it here now so once i done done that git push so it's started added it here one new file and it's showing that 3 minutes ago and now it's got added by who it displaying my name so since i logged in with one more uh, this one i not logged in with same account i logged in with different account and that we can do through here and whatever display name we can give it's going to display it here so due to this it's saying that who added that new file and how much time back and these two are there okay so in this way we can go ahead and add new files from our system local system to there and then we can do that clone and work on all those things and we can create new branch and then we can do it based on that okay so now if i uh, you can see it here right now it's displaying that this name so if i wanted to change that name and the other things username so i need to log in to account and then i need to change it but here how we can provide which login i wanted so i can do that just like one command git git config iphone global and then user dot name and then in double bracket pass your username pass username whatever your username is there since i have already done so it's working for me 
so you can do for user name and same way we can do for email id as well so user dot email if we can do and pass your email id whatever email id you have now so you can do like this and press enter then it will configure your email id and once you wanted to see once you done both then what you need to do after this you need to pass as list and once you will enter it's going to display that your username and email id whatever you pass so whatever it's going to display there it's going to display it here and you can see that both the details so i hope you like this video and you are you are now clear if you have any doubt please let me know uh, whatever question you have thank you